Did you know that about 140,000 people in Canada have epilepsy? This is a huge number, and considering that around 60% get diagnosed before the age of 20, it leaves the burden of choosing therapy options heavily on the parents. Now, about 70% of all those people who have epilepsy are put on medication as their main form of treatment. But as you can imagine, these drugs can be expensive and have severe side effects. In fact, 61% of those who reported having side effects also reported that the side effects have a moderate to extreme impact on their lives. Not to mention that the drugs don't even work on 10% of the people who are taking them. Today, I'm here to present another possible treatment option for kids who are suffering from epilepsy. What if I told you that kids might improve their epileptic seizure activity just by changing their diet? It might be surprising to some of you that this treatment has been validated by many scientists over a decade now and does not involve any medication. There are probably a ton of questions going through your minds right now, so let's talk about this diet. This diet is called the ketogenic diet and there are a few variations of it. The classical ketogenic diet consists of an approximately 4 to 1 weight ratio from fat to carbohydrates and proteins. Let's look at what's different between the ketogenic diet and other diets on the biochemical level. There are three main differences on the biochemical level. The first one is that the ketogenic diet and variations of it led to a significant increase in the total ketone body levels in the subjects. Ketone bodies are one of the products of fat metabolism. Secondly, those on the ketogenic diet had lower glucose level after their meal. And lastly, there is a downregulation of the glycolysis pathway in those on the ketogenic diet. For those of you who don't know, glycolysis is a pathway for the breakdown of glucose. So it makes sense that when the glucose levels are lower after a meal, glycolysis is also downregulated. So let's look at the big picture. What's the point of all these biochemical changes in the body? Well, research shows that high blood beta hydroxybutyrate or BHB, which are a type of ketone bodies, are correlated with seizure control. In a study done by Gilbert and colleagues, patients were put on the ketogenic diet and were assessed during follow-up sessions. Their results showed that those who had less seizure frequency also had high BHB or ketone bodies in their blood. So what do ketone bodies have to do with it? Well, ketone bodies inhibit vesicular glutamate transport, or VGLUT, which eventually reduces seizure activity. VGLUT's job is to form these bubbles filled with glutamate inside the cell and then release them to outside of the cell. This is how we can have glutamate outside of the cell. So if you can imagine, if VGLUT is being inhibited by ketone bodies, glutamate is not being released from the cell. Since glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter, decreasing its level in epileptic patients is expected to decrease seizure activities based on research done on rats, which share a lot of mammalian physiology with us. If you're looking for more support in favor of the seizure-reducing efficacy of this diet, there was another research done by Hottenlacher that may convince you. A four-year-old subject who was doing well on the ketogenic diet was infused with glucose. After the infusion, the subject's ketone body levels decreased and their glucose levels increased. And just after 45 minutes, the subject experienced a seizure. It's important to keep in mind that research shows that this diet has the greatest improvement in younger people. In a study done by Shorts and colleagues, the ketogenic diet variation led to the greatest increase in ketone body levels in subjects under 10 years old of age compared to those who are over 10. As always, consult a professional before making the decision of putting your child or yourself on the ketogenic diet. This diet is not just a lifestyle change, but it's used as a treatment, so it needs to be regulated by the doctor, and it's far different from the fad diet versions that you might have heard about. A variation of the ketogenic diet that is commonly suggested by doctors is called the medium chain triglyceride, where 60% of the total intake needs to be from medium chain triglyceride fat. And these fats take less time to be absorbed by the intestines. But if you and your healthcare professional decide that this is the right treatment, 
I've included a website in the description box which includes what foods to eat and what foods to avoid. Thank you for watching and if you like this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the Mystifying Medicine YouTube channel.